Tuesday, January 12th, the moon will be in Capricorn all day. So again, very business minded, very much let's organize, let's take control, let's boss up, let's take control of the roles and responsibilities, very karmically focused on life lessons, on, you know, just stepping up and mastering certain aspects that we have really been struggling with. We have Mercury squaring Uranus, which is a lot of energy in that mental plane. First of all, Uranus rules over Aquarius. Mercury is in Aquarius. Mercury is the low level intellect that roots us to our egoic critical minds, to our earthly experience. And Uranus is the higher intellect, that divine intelligence where we get to kind of contact with things bigger than ourselves, download information, download inf inspiration, and really just kind of strengthen those types of communication skills within ourselves. Then we bring it down into that lower octave where Mercury rules over the mental plane, and we're able to make sense of it, we're able to apply it to our day to day life, and we're able to communicate it over word. So this is a lot of electricity. And if you're feeling anxious or restless, you got ants in your pants, this is likely going to be the reason why. Again, we're in the dark phase of the moon building up to that new moon energy in Capricorn the next day. And we really do have a lot to process. And Mercury and Uranus are the kings of processing information in the mental plane. Now, this particular energy can lead to a lot of misunderstandings because communication is very scattered. We, we are very stimulated. We're jumping all over the place. We have like a million tabs open in our brain. Yes, we're receiving information that could lead us to inspirational and aha moments, but we can't integrate it. It's like we get a flash and then we move on to the next thing. Complicating things here today is Venus squaring Chiron. So this is really going to open open us up, recognize where our insecurities are festering up in our relationships. We create a lot of blocks around our heart chakra this day because we're feeling vulnerable. We're feeling confused. We're all over the place. This can also lead to some disagreements and misunderstandings, especially in our personal relationships. And the moon is sextiling Neptune, which you know, is just all that much more confusing. That Neptune energy is very dreamy, very imaginative, but also very delusional. And we have a tendency to just want to escape life, escape reality. And because there is such a focus at this particular point in the calendar on recognizing the wounds that are still existing so we can prepare for our next healing journey, we will have a tendency to not want to stay present in the moment in those uncomfortable moments of communication, of feeling vulnerable and raw and having our insecurities uh, ripped wide open for others to see. And so I am going to throw a lot of caution to you. Just, just remember that all of this is astrologically, karmically, cosmically, energetically, divinely scripted in order for us to have these thoughts, these emotions, these vulnerabilities, these insecurities rise to the surface so that the new moon energy can cleanse us, preparing us for a brand new cycle.